welcome back to the American Dead Reaction. We're on season four, episode twenty. We're on the season finale, which I didn't even realize this was the season finale until a minute before I started recording. Which, well, anyway, what's this episode called? Stan's night out. I mean, the episode is pretty fucking self-explanatory. Obviously, Stan has a night out, and I don't know, does God knows what? He could do something absolutely fucked, or I don't know, maybe he has fun. For once in his life, I guess. Besides that, I can't really think of anything else that this could specifically have in it. So let's just go. <laughs> oh yes, what is hilarious? <laughs> hey guys, what's so funny? <laughs> yes, what? Last night's How I Met Your Mother. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. How many? Oh, I've never seen that show. We were out last night partying. Oh hell Hard. yes. Oh man, remember that dental hygienist we met? <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh hell yes. <laughs> I wish I knew what that meant. Stan, why don't you come out with us sometime? We're doing it again tonight. Okay. Uh, I promised Francine I'd come home. She says we have some cheese I have to finish or it's going to go bad. Oh. Come on. So why did you get someone else to fucking eat it? You don't need them. You're the coolest agent here. Really? I mean, I guess yeah, so. Yeah, really? Will you buy $60 worth of cash <laughs> from my daughter? Okay, she wants in other words, that's why you're the coolest if you buy that. What's going on? I'll tell you what's going on. He's jealous the of the fact that, you know, he's not going fun. out. I'm stuck here every night. Stuck here. Stan, if you want to go out, go out. Okay. I'll have a nice evening alone. The fact that she wasn't angry about the stuck here comments is surprising. <laughs> I'm do my own stuff tonight. Okay, then. Do that, then. <laughs> Who could sing this? Avril Lavigne. Okay, she then. sucks. I, I was about to <laughs> wait. She does. I don't think I can remember a single one of her songs, though, to be fair. Someone order a spot on Rossi Perez impersonator? Whoa! <laughs> No way! Honestly, this isn't this isn't as exciting as what I was expecting it to, based on the way they're describing it. I thought it was a dog you were talking about. You were talking about your ex-wife. I know, I know. It was a joke, and I got it. I'm one of the guys. Okay. Wait, I've seen this clip before. Nathan, stop it! This is why you keep getting molested. <laughs> Fuck sex. That's so bad. But it, I mean, it's kind of funny. Yeah, I've seen that clip on the come up all the time. It's, I swear to God, it's. It's the only American cl dad clip I ever see on anything. I am so glad I came out tonight. Better than sitting at home with a wife bored out of my And, okay, well, amazing yeah, job. I have a guy who can fix this right up. I'll pay for the whole thing. Okay, uh, that's then. That's great, but I still have to report it to my insurance. Oh, sure. I understand. Hey, let me get my info. I, I really What is he going to fucking do? Yeah. Oh, my, oh God. my God. The fact that they didn't what even the knock him I out. Three DUIs, Stan. One more and they take away my... Yeah, also, I was thinking that before. Isn't he drunk? Uh, what are you doing? You can't leave him here. He'll call the cops. Okay, jeez. So they're kidnapping him. jackass ruin our night. Please, don't do this. You guys, we have to take this man to the hospital. And lose our buzz? Okay. Come on, the night's just begun. Yeah, we're just getting started. Yeah, this is kind of insane. Oh, I, I think I have a concussion. I mean, no, no shit. You got hit by a fucking alcohol bottle twice and somehow didn't get knocked out. Ah, uh, nothing more relaxing than a nice cigar. Uh, how can you relax we with that guy's in the, the fucking, relax, yeah, the boot of your car? This kind of thing happens all the time. What? Yeah, let's okay, I mean, of course. Zoo and Sanders fought a panda. What? That's where I got this. Oh my fucking god, uh, that's actually cut like insane. What? Hang tough in there, buddy. I'm gonna get you to a hospital, I promise. Imagine if it's the wrong fucking car. Oh god. Oh god, it's gonna make sense. Why didn't no, he let I the guy out it. first? Did I forget the signal? You're missing the front portion of your vehicle. <laughs> so. Yeah, I mean, that is well. Holy shit, I didn't realize it was that bad. Get out of the car and open the trunk. Oh, okay. Dick, that's an officer of the law. <laughs> the fact that it's not even actually knocking him out. What the fuck? Hey, a trunk buddy. Okay, well. So, do you like 30 Rock? <laughs> Shut up. Yeah, I'm a fan. Okay, yeah, you've got to be pretty fucked because obviously you're not going to be able to keep them in the boot of your car forever. Let's just get them to the hospital, unload them in front, and drive away. Okay, if it'll shut I mean, yeah, but like, to be fair, though. Dick, are, are you crying? Yeah, what? No, it's nothing. Oh. Dick says it's nothing. I was going to say, if they put them in the hospital anyway, they're going to be able to recognize you. Biscuit. I miss Biscuit. Okay. Is that the Jeez. dog? Okay. Dick, no, the um. The other way. I'm coming to get you, biscuit. Okay, Jesus Christ. Okay, so pretty fucked up situation to be in for Stan's sake, Jesus. I'm taking the damn dog, Sheila. Okay. Don't try to stop me, Sheila. 
Who are you talking Wait, about? what the fuck? She has, she has a new man over it. Oh. Right oh? That's right. I'm nailing your barber. <laughs> what? Okay. I thought he was about to say he's dad for a second. Okay. We're almost there. It's just another block. And they're going to somehow get, get distracted. Selling our bodies. Sold. Okay. Get in. No, don't get in. Now we're going to the hospital and that's... Okay, Jesus Christ. What the fuck? For the first time it actually worked with Stan. A person that worked on the Stan. Oh my God. You brought hookers to the CIA. Yeah, that's kind of fucked. Unless Bullock does his shit as well. Come on, man. Loosen up. I okay. promised I'd get those guys to the hospital. And I don't break a promise. Whoa, Stan, you don't pull a gun on a bro. That's right. Okay, Stan, then. If you yeah, you also don't fucking put use, people in the boots of your car. Look, it's Misty. And, oh my god. And they're gone. Fernando Jaramillo. Oh, oh my god. god. Who is that? Good. We all know who he is, so we don't have to waste <laughs> any time explaining it to each other. Wait, who I don't is know it? who he is. Who well, we, oh. well, let me explain it to you. Jaramillo is the most ruthless killer and crime lord. Okay, I mean, I guess, I don't know what I was expecting. Of course, it's something like that. Oh, wait, what the hell? Where are the people then? They're gone. They must be dead. So, we're good? No. Oh, okay, they're in there. Okay. I don't know what I expected, Hello. to be honest. Of course, he was going to turn up. Stan, it's over. There's nothing you can do. Oh, really? No, Biscuit! Wait, what? Okay. Honestly, didn't expect the fucking dog to be the one that attacks them. Oh. <laughs> Are you a betting man? Go on. You see that lawnmower over there? If I can start it ten times in a row without a single stall, then you set them free. And if you don't, I cut off your leg with that chainsaw. Okay. Okay, we have that. Put a pin in it. <laughs> or, and get ready for this, I will give you a free tarot card reading. Huh? Um, surely that's not going to work. This is crazy. Trust me, I know a little something oh, about Oh, God. Why well, am I have a feeling that this is not going to work? <laughs> yep. Amazing. Give it a sec. Why are you even trying at this point? Just stop. Oh my Stan. wait, what? What are you so surprised about? You left me with a guy who was about to cut my leg off. What do you think was gonna happen? Oh, see, I thought it was both legs. Ah, oh, okay. Dude, how, how the hell did he get out of that? Yeah. Jesus came back. You are a legend. Wait, the fucking mouse? Well, that's again tonight. Sorry, boys. I've got better places to be. Honestly, after that, I wouldn't want to fucking go out and do anything again. Honestly, that was a really good episode. The thing that just surprises me the most is the fact that Stan, for once, was like the rational one and not a complete fucking psychopath. Like, honestly, it was just, uh, it was actually quite surprising. Those other CIA people were fucking insane. Like, I mean, at first it started normal, but once they basically kidnapped the first guy and Stan was like, okay, yeah, we should probably take him to the hospital. That's when I was like, oh god, how, like, this is gonna snowball, isn't it? And of course it did, like... Stan, you know, tried to do the right thing and take him to the hospital. Then obviously got pulled over. Which, why didn't he just take the guy out of the trunk or boot and just put him in the passenger seat and be like, okay, yeah, I'll take you to the hospital. Rather than just leaving him in there. Like, of course the police officer or whatever, it's going to be a bit suspicious when he's knocking, coming from your boot. By the way, when I say boot, I mean trunk. Like, that's what we call trunks in Australia. But oh my god, dude. How many fucking times did they try to knock out someone and it just failed? And somehow the first time it actually worked was with Stan. Like, I mean, I guess that is kind of realistic though. Because realistically, how often would just smacking someone with a bottle actually knock them out? Like, it wouldn't be every time unless you know the specific place to actually hit them. And then when he went to get the dog and then kidnapped his ex-wife's new boyfriend, like... And he was just straight up naked. Like, it just kept getting worse and worse. And the fact that they got hookers... And then, you know, got their car stolen because that guy was too stingy to pay one of them. Like, that that's just on him for being a fucking stingy-ass bastard, but... I mean, at least it worked out in the end because somehow the fucking mouse came back and saved Stan. Like, at first I thought that, you know, the lawnmower thing was actually going to work, but then obviously should have checked to make sure the lawnmower had its yule in it before making that bet. And then the B-plot was interesting. Like, Roger and Haley having a competition to see who's the hottest. And then Roger... The guy obviously thought Roger was ugly because took it to a... Like a party to bring the ugliest date. Which, is that a real thing? Because that's actually the most fucked thing I've ever heard. And the fact that Roger went back and apologised. 
But then, you know, changed personas and said, oh, yes, here's my ugly date, which at this point, I'm not even that surprised. Like, of course, Roger did that. But anyway, I'm going to leave here. Hope you enjoyed. That was a good episode. I enjoyed it. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye. <laughs>